two, one, go. Hello, this is Valley. It's a speed game that has crazy movement tech, but that's not the point. The point is that we found it when it got released in 2016, like me, Tushin, and like a, a real life Norwegian friend of ours, and we just started routing the game, which was really fun. It's like a great game. Uh, but then all of a sudden we found like a technique called crabbing and that will explain that soon. It makes the game crazy. Also, if you like run upwards and jump on things that are slanted upwards, you like fly. It's crazy. You can go really fast. So we found all of those things and then we're like, wow, this game is too deep. Man. This is crazy. We got to get some more people in here. So we try to get like more people in here and some of our friends join and they're like, oh shit, this game is too hardcore, man. So then like people came in, went out and like, over time, over these past two years, it's been like more than two years now, we like found more and more things and like incremental things. And every time we said like, oh, this is an optimized game now, haha. But then no, 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 we found like even more crazy movement things. They're like chain jumps together and stuff. It's like actually insane. And this, um, uh, this game is like, we won't see another like PC first person speedrun like this in yeah. a long time, I think. Yeah, so for the piece person that this this is uh, Havard was talking there now, so yeah, right up this hill here there is a crate with a suit, but uh, we're it's invisible now because of the glitch. So uh, and this is what gives us the power to move fast. So I'm gonna try to explain how the movement works. Okay, so when you jump with the suit, which we don't have anymore, uh, you can turn sideways and then pan to the direction you're flying and you will accelerate as you see with the speedometer I've placed in the uh, bottom right which is which is very nice to make yourself go really fast and uh, um, yeah and so it's just like using this technique to keep your momentum and fly as fast as possible everywhere and with that prompt there I activated my uh, shooting gun which I, I don't have but I do have so now I can shoot trees to give them life and that will open this door to the end of the level. And here I'm going to try to do an out of bounds that's a bit difficult, but it's pretty cool. Let's see. Uh, yep, got it. Um, there we go. And this uh, allows us to fly to the end trigger of the level. And there's another cool glitch here where if you are mid air, as you hit the loading zone, you get to keep your speed to the next level. It's really weird. It's like saved in the memory. It's like doesn't make sense. There's a whole story about that and how that works, but we can. That's too long of a story. Yeah. Run this fast. Yeah. So this this level is one of the uh, levels where we recently found a really huge new strat. Because at the end of the level, there's this really long uh, elevator that you have to wait in to get to the to the end. But the the load trigger is at the top of the elevator. We just had no way to get up there because it's so high up. But we finally managed to find a way. So now we can uh, now we can skip that elevator ride as well. So let's see if I can do that. It's a bit. It's one of the harder tricks in the game now. So we'll see. Especially now that I don't have the suit, but I do have yeah, it. The, the the chain of jumps he has to do is like very hard, and you have to chain them together, and that's what's important. Like you can crab very well and get speed, but you have to crab sometimes slower and like get less speed to land in a certain slope to jump from that again. So it's all about like having very, very solid control of your cursor and character and then landing and jumping. So I, I messed up a bit there, but I, there's at least there's like backups. So let's see if I can get over here. Okay, and then this last jump here is the hardest one. And there, I hit the trigger for the elevator. And now we skip. That skips like 20 seconds. Yes, so even though he messed up a bit, he saved a lot of time instead of not having to be in the elevator. So this is like a huge skip in the run, but it's really hard to do. So, so the, this level here is one of the few levels with RNG, like the clip here. If it works or it doesn't, it's really annoying. I got it this time though. Maybe it, maybe not hey. having the suit helps. And then the jumping here is also sometimes doesn't work. Like it didn't work properly there, but it's fine. Because uh, this level is really annoying because it's so vertical, which is like we want to we mo want to move fast horizontally, right? Because that's how we keep speed. We can't keep speed going up, so it's just a really annoying level to be fast with. But uh, it's also really cool when you get it really optimally as well because it's so difficult. 
Yeah, so the whole uh, lore stuff now is that he needs to get to the top of this thing to find the thing, to go into this facility thing. But uh, the elevator stopped and stuff, so he needs to climb. Yeah, and also here's like there's some rocks you have to break by falling onto them, but you can actually break them by just being fast over them. Yeah, they break by like speed, not like downwards speed. Yeah. You'll see that later in the run as well. This level here has one of like the, the most hilarious uh, histories of skips. Like it's actually one of the longest and most uh, annoying levels in the game. But the, the developers forgot to uh, uh, make it so that you can't click the switch that opens the level at the end from the outside. So we could just do that and enter. But then we actually found an out of bounds that was even faster as well, so it didn't even matter. Yeah, and they patched that like button like four times and they never managed to actually patch it. It's pretty funny. Yeah, this is, would be like one of the longest, uh, longest levels if we didn't have a skip for it. Yeah. Well, one of the the next one is also pretty long. <clears throat> so, so I'm doing like this strat here is probably not even good in terms of like running RTA, but it's a load remover strat where you uh, exit out of the level while you grab this suit uh, thing here to uh, to skip some cutscenes, but the. It probably is actually slower in RTA because of the loads, but when you have a load remover, it's faster. So now, okay, this section here, like you're running on rails, you've got some boots to upgrade your suit, and normally you're, this is supposed to light up and have like super crazy particle effects, but because we're suitless, there's nothing happens, and we just yeah. we're just gliding over the rails, <laughs> which is pretty. So funny. this. This rail section is like really long, it's like three minutes long. Like the music in this game is amazing, it's so sad, we're skipping so much of the good music. This is one of the cases where we actually have the music. But um, so when we were routing this game, we really wanted to skip this as fast as possible because it's just an auto-scroller. It, you just hold W, more or less, and yes. turn in the corners. So we found, an, we found some out-of-bounds holes here, which uh, really helps. But uh, there's also... So we're gonna go out of bounds and below the level and try to jump to the end. This is also a pretty annoying and hard skip to do. But uh, it was mostly annoying because it lagged like hell when we were yeah. here before. But we found a way to remove the lag, which made the game like a million times more enjoyable. Yeah, I still can't imagine that I actually did the skip right after it was found at ESA. <laughs> so stupid with the lag. And there's also that like a not RNG, but it's kind of inconsistent whether our speed will be kept when we land at the bottom of the level here. So let's see if that happens. Just lose it like, yeah, we kept the speed, so that's fine. So this is also annoying in part to be suitless because I usually rely on the cues, of the audio cues to know when I landed to, to bunny jump. So let's see if I can do the skip. Yeah, so oh. this is important. Um, <clears throat> the ways to gain speed in this game is either Either you uh, run downwards, or you do the crabbing. But uh, the speed in this game is so weird, like... You lose speed if you run on a flat ground or uphill, but how fast or much you lose of that speed is dependent on how much speed you have. So it's like an exponential thing. So because he has a lot of speed, he doesn't need to. I, I kind of failed, but I, I managed to save it. <laughs> Normally I'm supposed to fly to the end there, but I uh, lost some speed. So, but I managed to yeah. climb my way to the end. Yeah, just managing to survive that is like, it's fine. It saves so much time. It looks pretty cool if you fly directly to it, but it's, it's totally fine. All right, this, this jump here is like one of the biggest run killers because it's really hard to do well. But, uh, you need to jump like perfectly from the ledge and uh, keep your speed to jump over this huge canyon and make it over to the edge here, which I managed to do. Because, uh, yeah, it's it's one of those... That, since it's so momentum-based, it's just every strat has devolved into being able to chain every jump together without losing speed. And, like, all the strats depend on you having speed as well, so when you lose speed, it's just everything falls apart. Oops. Reminder that there's still a donation incentive for the game, so you might be able to get it in in time at the end. Yeah, the next level... Uh, the next level closes the uh, incentive for Cat Castle, which is uh, an Easter egg. I, I thought we were gonna do it like just at the end of the game, just like. Uh, I don't know. Okay, yeah, it's fine. Ah! Yeah, we're really hoping that we will get some donations in the ten minutes that they're left. 
and we'll see yeah. that awesome cat castle we we want to see it so please guys help us please donate Okay, so I managed to do a, the speed strat here as well, where I kept some speed from the previous level, which is really nice. It's really hard to do there as well, because it's like a hole in the ground and you're not really... Yeah, it's really, really good to get. So we're all, this uh, we're skipping the whole rail section here too by just jumping... Uh, oops, oops. That's one way to do it, I guess. I make it. Oh, okay. Messed up a bit there. I was a bit annoying. So let's see if I can make this back up. So there's like over this canyon. There's this invisible wall that kills your speed. So you have to be really careful where you jump in the in this canyon. And we're gonna do the same strat to break the rocks here. Hopefully. There we go. Just break it by flying over them fast. So he's entering Smoke Lake now, it's like one of the levels with <laughs> really funny history of like how we found stuff. I'm gonna try to show a new skip, like just because how crazy it was that we haven't oh, found yes. it before. I'm gonna yes. do it, it doesn't actually yes. save time, but like why have we never even found this until like yeah. a few weeks ago. Yeah. It's just this it's hole in the wall here. <laughs> Let's see if Kai can make it through. There we go. <laughs> So normally you're supposed to shoot trees to open the door, and we did that forever. But you could just fall, jump through that hole. But it's like we optimized the shooting of trees so much that it doesn't actually even save time. Yeah, the only way it would save time if you get like some god to jump through that hole to actually save speed through it. Yeah, and you would still have to like have a lot of speed through it to save time. It's theoretically possible. Yeah. This is one of the uh, like fun out of bounds as well because like, why are there no why is there like no collision here at all? You can just go yeah. to the edge and just run through the walls. And uh, this, oops, this is level where you get water running boots and you're supposed to like pick them up and run along like on the ocean because usually that kills you because you are supposed to have like some suit on. Yeah, and but then you just, don't because suits. and then just fly to the to the end. Yeah, so uh, you, you're then supposed to like jump through this i don't know window and uh but we you don't do any of that anymore because of out of bounds <laughs> and we're... Like, time to <laughs> yeah we're gonna do more out of bounds here in this level is also like the longest level in the game but not anymore because of out of bounds like yeah, it's it also... oops that's astra it's the last level of the game it has so much history there's like a final boss, there's two, the level is two levels, it has a loading screen and like loads in the second part of it, and there's so many things and we had so many weird strategies, but what we're going to do is go out of bounds in a certain spot and then like do a leap of faith to under like the end game trigger and then run under the end game trigger and finish the game that way. Yeah, so like we... we... We've, we've had this out of bounds. Oh, does the water boots not work with suitless? <laughs> no, they do. I yeah, just, just died. Hey, uh, we've just got two donations. Oh, hey. So one is a five dollar donation from Elm Emerald Alley, and mm. it says, "Haven't got much, but yay is a yay speedruns." So thank you so much for your donation. You know, every dollar counts. We are really, really grateful. And the second one is a $10 donation from Anonymous. And it says, Veli's awesome. And it's so, well, they're so right. It is. Thank you so much for showing it. And we really, really hope that in these six minutes left, we'll be able to reach the incentive. There's less than that. <laughs> <laughs> we just did the leap of faith now. And hopefully we fly far enough to land at the, at the, the bottom of the end part of the level. And we're just going to run under the sea to where we're supposed to land in the sea to end the level and the game will just end in like two seconds now so, well guys like, get hyped so because we just fine. got a hundred dollar donation oh, like, oh. <laughs> from anonymous and it says good luck to all the runners greetings from sunny estonia so hello estonia thank you so much for your donation uh, 
that's amazing. We have reached incentive and we will show you the cat castle. Wow. Yeah. That's awesome. Time. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, yeah, that's so, amazing. Nice. So that was time, by the way, uh, on, the, on the screen yeah. with black, if, if, that, if that wasn't <laughs> stopped. No, it got stopped. Okay. <laughs> 14 30. Great. All okay, right. So, should I, can talk about should, I, should I glitch yeah. the game by exiting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, like, I can explain. Yeah, so the, the game now is like really doesn't understand what's happening. Normally, the, like, the rally is supposed to be nice and green and everything, but because we finished the game from where we shouldn't have, the game, the rally is just super dead, and the, yeah. and we have the energy low thing on the screen, and I can I can pause, which I normally shouldn't be able to do. So what happens if I try to now travel somewhere? The game just freaks out and <laughs> yeah. dies. We were supposed to enter the second level in this level, but we never did. We just hit the trigger instead. So this game has, it's like a first person exploration game. You're supposed to find all these secrets and upgrades and stuff. Um, and they are, were really good at uh, putting like these small Easter eggs everywhere. So there's like Slenderman references and like a lot of weird stuff like Star Wars references and stuff. But um, the weirdest thing we've found in the game is called the Cat Castle. And it's this castle on the top of a hill. And there's no way like a casual player could ever get there. Like we have no idea how people would actually get there. Without like knowing about speed tech. Which probably no one else other than the speedrunners do. Yeah. So now, now the game is freaked out. And I can't do yeah. anything. Yeah. So I... Uh... <laughs> Okay, so I'll I'll change to the to the other completed save file, and uh, we'll go to the cat castle. So the cat well, castle. Is... Oh. Um, oh. Yes, yeah, sorry, sorry for interrupting, um, but we've just got another donation, and it's a six dollar donation from Virus. And it says, "This is my third donation to this, and I have to say, I never expected to get speed run from my own country." Uh, sorry, a speedrunner from my own country in a speedrun marathon. That's very rarely to see. And a hot smiley. So thank you so much. Thank you, Virus. Hi, Som. Hi, Som. We done hard today, Ebok. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, so he's going to uh, the level with the cat, cat castle now. And you'll see... Um, it, it it makes no sense how why it's even in the game. Did you, did you remember to have the the oh uh, let's see. texture resolution? Yeah, yeah, texture <clears throat> resolution needs to be on high. Yeah, we gotta watch. We gotta look at the cat castle in its full like yeah, cats cats in HD. Yeah, four K. All right, so let's. It's it's actually like yeah, as as Harvard was saying, it's pretty actually hard to get there. Even even like even with speed tech, it can be a little difficult. Yeah, we've picked this game apart like these past two years, but I'm sure there's still some Easter eggs somewhere which we haven't found yet. <laughs> Estimate not available. <laughs> yeah, so this is one of the. Cat Castle is like a meme category. We sort of have. That's like the. So he's just gonna go there now and. Let's see, let's see if I can figure out the best way to even get up here. I, I need I need more speed. <laughs> Hold on, I think I know what to do. Wow, you don't remember the the optimal Cat Castle strats? Come on. Man. Aren't you supposed to be the world record holder? <laughs> okay, what so, is this? So here is a castle on the top of the mountain. And if we go into it... It's just a bunch of cats. It's just the developers, like, cats multiplied. And the, the box is like... You can see the back of the box before the front of the box. And you can't actually go on the side because there's invisible walls. Yeah, it's like the end of the level. Yeah, so like, yeah, you, it's just you're not supposed to be here at all, but you can with speed yeah. tech. Yeah, and like the, the game's filled with these things, like yeah, weird Easter eggs. But this is the weirdest one we've found. 
Like, <laughs> this actually makes no sense why it's here, how they, like, put development time into this. Like, is it just, like, one employee that, you know, was really bored at one day? <laughs> like, okay, I guess we're done with the level, but... Yeah. I have some pictures of, I don't know, Susie. Let's... <laughs> And I'll, I'll be really quick. We just got a ten dollar donation from Anonymous, but it doesn't say anything, which is which is really sad. But we are really, really thankful and grateful for your donation. Thank you so much. All right, so uh, that was Valley then. Uh, thanks for me. Thanks for having me. And, Good uh, and I think uh, that'll be it. Stay tuned for the next run. Oh, don't mess it up. I would never mess it up. Welcome back to ESA Movember. Hello, everyone. I'm joined by the fabulous, our lord and benefactor, the great Eudenol. How oh, are thank, you doing, thank, sir? Thank you. I'm, I'm doing fine. Yeah. Could, be, could be better. We could be at 4K. We could be at 4K. Yeah. We're very close to 4K. Very close. Yeah, so if you want to get us a lovely 4K, it's only uh, $43 away. So, uh, and, you know, it doesn't need to all come from one person. You can donate as little as a dollar. Um, it's super easy. And uh, every single dollar raised goes straight to the Movember Foundation. Exactly. And if you want to donate, you can do so at donations.esamarathon.com. And we do have a few upcoming uh, bid wars and uh, incentives. Um, most recent, well, 
the one coming up closely mm -hmm. uh, is Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare, a soft lock showcase where we are at $91 out of $150. So just $59 to go if you want to look at that for, um, if you want to see that soft lock showcase. Yeah, and uh, yeah, Call of Duty is not a game you've really seen uh, Speedrun Marathon no, that often. I think it's the first time it's in a um, quote unquote major marathon. Uh, oh, and, it and it looks like it's going to be in, um, I think it was accepted to winter as well, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, fantastic. So, because uh, it is a bit of a preview then. Um, well, I say preview, it's just going to be fabulous in its own right. But uh, yeah, so that's going to be uh, definitely one to, to look forward to. And because you never really see it, you never really see how well the games can be broken either. So the soft lock showcase should be quite quite fun. Yeah, the speedrun is of the um, of modern... I mean, Call of Duty games are surprisingly interesting. Yeah. Um, it's one of the few games I played on the Xbox 360 mm -hmm. myself. It was a, it's a brilliant game. Uh, and I can only imagine the speedrun is above that. Yeah, fantastic. But uh, first... Yeah, but first, um, we've got uh, two games and a kind of similar ilk. So first of all, we've got Chroma Gun, uh, the all-level speedrun by uh, Trulogin. And up, uh, after that, we got Portal. Which would be the uh, all main categories. So, what, do you know much about Portal? What are the all main categories? I do not, unfortunately. Because I believe there's uh, out of bounds, no I out believe, of bounds. But I, I believe there's cake at least. There is cake, yeah. yeah. Cake percent is part of it. So I think all three of those, I'm, I'm sure, will uh, get informed close to the time. Um, but yeah, if you've not heard of Chroma Gun, um, I've been reliably informed that uh, think Portal with paintball, and you have Chroma Gun. That sounds amazing. Yeah, um, and but we're gonna find out right now. So uh, yeah, take it away. Okay, we're in. And before you start, I'd like to read a donation you just got. Yeah, if that's okay. That's fine. Go ahead. Okay, so we've got a twenty dollar donation from Anonymous, and it says, "Forgot about the event before today. Have to throw a donation for the possibility of the knuckles and knuckles mode." Hmm. So thank you so much for your donation. It's great. We're really, really happy to receive it. So good luck to you in your speed run. Thank you. Um, so uh, you ready for the countdown? Hello, everyone. Okay, I'm ready to start. I'll do a countdown and you can begin. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna do the speedrun mode in Chroma Gun, which has actual in-game timer. We're not gonna use that when we use RTA for this marathon, but it's fine. Okay. Uh, we are ready for counting. Yes, okay. So start in five, four, 